Hey, Ty here. So welcome to the VR channel. And sorry about this, but um, my throat hurts a little and I feel like it's gonna be better for the position in the microphone anyway. So maybe you can also hear me better. Let's find the positive spin. But by the way, I want to make this video because I always use my 3D printer for many different VR stuff. It's something that I really suggest you have because you can build pretty much everything with it. Supports, we saw different gun stocks, for example. Uh, everything just works very well because when something is not really perfect in reality when you are in virtual reality and you have something similar enough to what you're trying to replicate the immersion gets much much better and while browsing on Thingiverse that is a big library for 3d printing where you can find pretty much everything I found this one over here this is a kind of a replica of a pedal for ping pong or table tennis and I was amazed by it. I'm really enjoying it playing like right now with this thing all the time. The weight is perfect, the distribution is very nice and really feels like playing ping pong, table tennis for real uh, when you are in VR. So let's discover this together. Okay, so first of all, as I said, you can find the files, of course, on Thingiverse because everything is gonna be there and they printed in a kind of a voodie uh, PLA that I really don't suggest at all because having wood particles inside well it doesn't stick so well together layer by layer so you can see there's already a little crack there I'm gonna put some glue but well uh, if you have any other material like PLA well it's gonna be much better if you don't know what I'm talking about well don't worry that much because even if you don't have a 3d printer we're gonna find a way to have you have it if you are really interesting in that now going right away to the gameplay it's super fun i'm actually using a level tennis directly on the oculus quest but you can find it also on the oculus rift store and it's compatible of course with the touch controllers for oculus rift and oculus quest they fit perfectly they don't scratch anything at least after using it from a week pretty much everything is still perfect so I can for sure suggest them. If you're printing yourself, the print is gonna take four or five hours, pretty much. I recommend that it's an infill up to 20%. I use the cubic infill because so the structure is a little better and you have to print with all the supports, of course. If you don't know what I'm talking about, well, on Thingiverse, there's also an option to make other people print it for you. So you can go an app, select one app that you wanna use and then go through all the different process and then they're gonna ship it to you. And then it's pretty much done. Assembling is very easy. As you can see, you have just to remove all the supports and then put those together and use different nuts and bolt. I use different nuts and bolt from the one requested because I just use what I had at home. And for the little parts over here, uh, where actually closes it open, I use the usual nail and then I use two sticky pads to actually keep the nail in there so you can open it and close it without any problem then you screw in the screw you put the nuts and well you have your paddle over here ready to play I didn't find any problem like it this is very sturdy and stay directly in place so you don't have to worry about like a, a too hard swing and then uh, the controllers uh, flying away and uh, I think it's done very very well the balance it's very nice seems like they studied a lot also the weight balance to have something very similar to a real paddle and I have to tell you that playing it as you can see is just it feels like perfect. What you have to do though is to go, for example, in 11 tennis, if you're playing with the quest in the settings and then change the orientation, of course, of the controller because in a normal way would be oriented like the controller if you're holding it. So these are the numbers that you have to use. These is the options that I found to work better for me. You have to keep pressing the grip button and then put it in that position try to match those numbers but if you find better numbers just let me know and share it in the comment below so we can have the perfect perfect position there instead if you have the oculus rift s version so on the pc you're gonna find the file on thingiverse the file with the orientation that you can put directly in the folder of the 11 tennis games but yeah this is the situation you're gonna have to send a little the part with the support anyway because it's not, of course without the support doesn't get perfect and then it's gonna be completely comfortable you can also 
put your finger here without any problem and let everything work in the right way. I'm having so much fun with it, so I actually printed a second one so I can play table tennis together at home with Heather, for example, or any other guest that comes by. And the fun thing is that table tennis table, table tennis table, anyway, uh, they're pretty expensive. Like usually they go around $900 or stuff like that. So if you consider like two Oculus Quest, $399 plus $399 is $800 plus and this printed, well, you're pretty much at the same price of uh, the real table tennis. Now, would you compare the real table tennis to the 11 tennis? Well, kind of, because the immersion is so good that it's actually feel pretty much similar. Talking about the tracking, it's not occluded anyway by the racket, so you're pretty much good to go. Now, would I suggest to buy a 3D printer just for this thing? Well, of course not. 3D printer could be very expensive. Mine, for example, is a GJ Aurora uh, 5S. It costs around $399. The building plate is very big. You can print very big stuff. I, for example, working on the Master Chief armor for the mannequin that is in the entrance. But if I have to tell you, not just for this, but for sure, was considered a 3D printer if you are in VR because you can print many different accessories and stuff that, as we said at the beginning, many times they don't look really the best. But when you are in VR, well, everything just changes because just adding something to grab similar to a paddle, well, makes the immersion much, much better. So maybe I'm gonna prepare a video about 3D printing with VR. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comment below. But for now, guys, is all. If you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Subscribe to the channel for more about VR tech or different accessories like this one. And the link below, of course, you can find everything on Thingiverse, so you can find the project yourself. Thanks, of course, to the creator. You can tip them over there uh, if you want, if you think that is a good uh, project. And again, thanks for watching. See you guys next video. And again, thanks for watching. I see you guys in the next video. Ciao!